There we go. And we're live. Mm. Yay! Right. Hey everybody. Get my chat. Just gonna to do Hello, it. everyone. And get the um, comments up. <laughs> so we can see. That's exactly what I'm doing as well. <laughs> so just bear with us, everybody, as we get our feed up and going. Yes. Ooh. There we go. And we're live. Oh. Okay. Now. There we go. There we go. Hello, Karen. Sorry, we were just getting everything Hi, all set Karen. up and ready. There Hi, Chloe. Why don't you join? Miss <laughs> Karen tagging away. I love it. <laughs> oh. Tag them all and tag them all in. Hello, hello, hello. Good morning, good morning. Hi, Kayla. Hi, Karen. All right. So for everybody that's here Hi, at the moment, for anybody who is joining us, we have 10 positions available, just 10. So let us know if you want to get on the list and then we'll start. So we're going to start in about five minutes, let everybody roll in. We're going to drink our coffee, say hello to everybody and go from there. I cross off that one. Hi, Lorna. Well, looks like Lorna's out there. Both Karen's. And then we got Karen. <laughs> Both Karen's. I've only seen one so far. Both Karen's. You did make it this time. <laughs> <laughs> Kayla. Right. Kayla. Thompson. All right. So, how is everybody today? Made it. Hi, Luke. Mm. Luke's the reason why my Wi-Fi is all set up. Say massive thank you to him because I will have a steady stream from now on. <laughs> Yay. Thank you, Luke. Morning, Morning Louise. Louise. Okay. Lorna, Lorna, Lorna. I agree. Sorry that I haven't been live for a while, but as you would be aware, Karen, weather in South Australia and near the Victorian border in the last couple of weeks has been absolutely horrendous and unpredictable. Oh, yeah. I mean, I can't believe what you've been going through down there. I, I say know down I lost there, my like roof. Right <laughs> well, in all technicalities, you are <laughs> at the top of the planet. <laughs> <laughs> that's a matter of perspective oh my god really. hey, kids, the bottom and that's not <laughs> oh Jack and Lily I love Jack and Lily I love Jack and Lily what's that oh new cards are they new cards these ones yeah. Oh, well, they're new old ones, if that makes sense. Yeah, no, no, no. Mm -hmm. makes perfect sense. Yes. I've got a couple of decks, too. I bought rainbows, Lunar Soul, because it's pastel, but it hands you your backside. And, and I've got Lumina, which came all the way from Australia. It felt appropriate to have it today. Oh, wow. I'm, this is my favorite deck. It's the Dreamers Tarot. Absolute gorgeous oh, artwork. Wow. I love that. Oh my god. That's so different to my bright, bright and sunshine rainbows. 
<laughs> I have never seen a deck like this since or ever again. And it was a gift from a client because I don't always take cash from my readings. I had very, very loved and happy barter. Yes. No, we exchange. have not That's had the chance to meet Kayla. It is energy exchange, exchange energy for energy. All right. Do we want to get this exactly. ball rolling and start with Let's Lorna? Get going. Yes. All right. Well, okay, Lorna. I'll let you go first. Okay. Obviously, if you've got anything to add, add it. Okay. Let's Absolutely, I will Lorna. be. Lorna. Lorna. Yay! Celebration party time. I love this. Um. It's well, yes, it is celebration party time, but it's also what I call my midterm review. If you look, those four ones have been put up like, um, like a tent, and mm -hmm. it's, I also call it the festival card because it does look like a tent <laughs> and it's party time and it's, it's about it's, it's, it's feeling a, it's vibrations, a great, it's a great and card feeling energy, and connecting with energy. Mm. I, I drew to go it with is. that, I actually and drew the reverse. About, um, king of swords it's about letting go and allowing the things to come in allowing all of those fresh opportunities to come in yes celebrating connection celebrating passion and celebrating just the fire spirit the fire spirit the creativity i love mm. it i love go that. absolutely yeah and it's so good and having the king of wands and the seven of pentacles going with that card too also really helps me understand why i drew these cards too because the Seven of Pentacles is grabbing lots of things. It's a great card of grounding and earth. So it's taking those fresh opportunities, holding on to them, and just enjoying them, grasping them, grabbing yeah. the fruits, and living in the moment a little more. Hi, Natalia. Absolutely, with those grabbing the opportunities. Because I also got the star with that as well, which is about building up and oh. learning connections and having a focus, but allowing yourself to build up stronger and while healing and you are a healer you know that right you know you're a healer and making those connections with other healers and just continually growing i also love that she hasn't shaved her legs <laughs> absolutely lauren <laughs> you can be added to our list you're number six and if anybody else wants to be added in we've got four more positions available Is there anything else that you would like to add for okay, Lorna's read? Next? All right, so next is Karen. No, just that Good you're being Lovely Karen Witt. Go for it. So I'm just going to tag Karen in. Yeah, in the middle. And apparently my keyboard wants to finally have a moment at Karen Witt. Time stamp. I am never good at this stuff. Caroline. 740. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I, I am good at it. That's why I like doing it, because then that way everybody gets in. All right, Karen, I'm going to start this one for you today. I'm going to draw some two cards. So I've drawn the Nine of Wands reverse and the Tower for you. This here is telling me that there is a big discussion that you need to have. There is something that you're definitely putting off. And if you continue to put it off, it's going to continue to cause all of these complications that you're actually currently dealing with at the moment. I don't feel like it's a big tower moment for you. I just feel like it's just a, you've got something to deal with. You need to have that cathartic discussion because you are putting it off and you just need to get it sorted out. If there's anything that you want to add to, please add. I like, I feel I'm definitely needing to draw another card to go with this. But yes, um, correct me if I'm wrong, but it's got something to do with your friends and family as well. It's showing me that you're currently living in the past and in order for you to step forward, there is great opportunities and fresh starts coming for you. You just really have to have that discussion. And I'm not sure what this discussion is, but you just really need to have that discussion. And you're probably picking up something very similar with your cards. Yeah, I've got, well, I've got the Knight of Pentacles with the King of Wands and Justice, which to me would suggest about setting boundaries and what you are and are mm. willing to accept. And if there's a discussion around relationships, I don't know if there's a clash between. 
I'm definitely getting it. Uh, I don't know about you, but I'm feeling it. a very feminine energy. Somebody wants you to do something and you are not okay with it. No, because that Knight of Pentacles is very slow, very, I'm digging my heels in and mm. I'm not moving. Um, but very somebody wants something and having now. the Nine of Wands. Yeah. yeah. So please, please correct us if we're wrong, Karen Wicks, but definitely getting that you wanting to put your foot down. And I completely agree with you. I feel like this is very much what needs to do because this person having the Six of Cups reversed as well is showing me that it's got something to do with relationship and they really want to get everything done. Getting it done is going to stop whatever this is. And this is something that's needed to be done for a while, but you have every right to dig your feet in. Yeah, absolutely. You are justified. That's why you got the justice card, right? You, you, yeah, you're completely justified, much. which is why the Six of Cups is reversed. Mm. It's not been easy because there's head over. If they've got the head and the heart, so it is a head over heart decision. Knowing what is right for you against who you true, who you care about. But yes, having being marked by the six of wands as well. So I was just had a very strong indication to pull another card. Let it go. If you want to let go, let it go. You do not have to deal with this person. There, there is a reason why you've been having these discussions. There is a reason why you're digging your feet in. And when the six of wands shows in reverse, it says just let it go. You've been strong for too long. This person is not changing. Also with that king of wands, your instincts are right. Your instincts are mm. correct. Yeah. Oh, friend. Best. I hope that that's resonated with you. So we're going to move on to our third now, which is Karen Grace. Lovely Karen from Mount Karen Gambia. Grace. Your turn now. I love Karen. Karen. Oh. Love, 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 okay. love, Karen. Love her energy. Oh, when I get to Mount Gambia, so I'm going to say hello. I love this point. I don't know how she's got enough time to do what she does on a day. I have no <laughs> idea. So she much. is literally Wonder Woman. Wonder Woman. Absolute Wonder Woman. I swear she can bend time to her will. <laughs> Look, look, right. I want you to speak to the master of time for me, Karen, because I don't have enough time in my day and I, I need your secrets. <laughs> Tell yeah. Tempest that I need to speak to him. <laughs> okay, another one requiring a conversation by the look of it. You've got the Ace of Swords. It's mental clarity. It's clear communication. It's brutal honesty. It's having the ability to cut out what doesn't serve you feeling mm. of apathy mm. it's the apathy i've got apathy coming through definitely. and also i've got the two of swords definitely make well i just drew the two of pentacles which i always find falls in correspondence oh. with the card of choices because the two of pentacles is when it's reversed it's jowing me literally as you said you're seeing things clearly, Karen, and you've got this choice that you need to make, having the card of control, which is the two of swords that you've pulled for us. And then being also marked by the moon, it signifies that this choice is that step that you know you need to take and you're putting it off. I don't know why you're putting it off. I just feel like you're just, uh, do I have to deal with this right now sort of feeling? Yes. I don't exactly know if that's that. what you're getting. Yeah, literally like I don't want to make this decision. Rather than you can't, you don't want to make it. Um, mm, it's that not something that's going to... Like, mm. I don't want to... Yeah, you don't want your cup to be too empty, but it's, it's, it's a choice that you just don't feel like you want to make. But you don't really need to make it, but at the same time, if you do, it is going to send your journey on a different, different path. And you're aware of that, which is why I feel like you don't want to make that decision or have the hindrance of making that decision because when the moon is reversed as well, it just shows that literally your life is about to take a turn. An abundant turn as well. I just put a nine of Absolutely. And I just got the carrier. It's a journey that you're ready and willing to take. You just make the decision, even though you don't want to, just make it. It's not yeah, going to hinder you. To <laughs> Pretty much. That, that's the yeah. energy I'm getting. <laughs> yeah. 
And if there's anyone with the cojones, it's like you, Karen. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Yeah, it's Karen. Yeah, just get Oprah, and Oprah like can do anything. She has all that power and that drive. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and just you know what? Me. Just literally, you've you've fought so hard. Now, now enjoy it. Enjoy it. Exactly. 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 So we've got four more positions still available for our read. So if anybody wants to let jump in, let us know. We're going to move on to our next person now which is Kayla Honston, and I'm going to start this one. Kayla, are you there? If not, I'm going to tag you. Hopefully this one works because I couldn't get Karen's tag. I love as Karen's put, I got the power. I've literally got that, I got the power, that song come in my head. <laughs> <laughs> She's you have a free car. You have a free car. You have a free car. <laughs> I want a free car. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't we all? <laughs> mm. okay. All right, your time stamps now, Kayla. And the card that I've got for you is the Six of Cups. I'm getting a lot of reversals today. These are both reversed again. And the Six of Cups and the card of Death reversed. Both of these are very good cards. So this tells me right now you've let something go. You've finally let go of something that's really been holding you back because the Six of Cups to me resonates and the messages that I'm getting is you've really been holding on to something of the past, like a strong relationship and a friendship or even a job, just something that's been significant but has been causing you great grief. And being marked by the death of reversal, it shows me that letting it go has brought abundance into your life. I don't know if you're picking any of this up, but Kayla, there is definitely good things coming in your life because of the what? The, the I've got the three of swords in the world, so an ending of something. But you've got the six of pentacles, yeah. which is that abundance starting to come in, starting to open up again. Yeah. And then having the sticks of cups, like that's just incredible coincidences. Oh, and I've also got the Eight of Pentacles. Even though the choice that you made was a hard one, it was one that you knew you need to make because it means you don't have to look at... I'm just getting this, oh, thank God, I don't have to look over my shoulder anymore. Yes. Letting it go. Absolutely. Mm. It's also like working with... Finding new connections as well, I'm getting with that. I know that's normally like the charity and, and the sharing with each other but i really find that's more like sharing energy with people back and forth and mm. recognizing that healthy balance of and recognizing those as much healthy as boundaries i think yeah. i think this is something that you've learned recently is actually putting up those boundaries so you don't have to look over your shoulder anymore because you've learned from all of your past transgressions and letting go of the things that were toxic for you has really helped you make these boundaries please feel free to correct us if we're wrong Oh, I just had a card fly out for you, hon. All right, the Eight of Swords. This card here shows great, unfortunately, even though you've got all of these boundaries coming up, the Eight of Swords is giving me a little bit of a warning. It shows that, that argument that you just recently had was not finished. So I don't know what that means, but I, I feel like that that very strongly resonates with you. And just it's not finished. So please take heedance in that. Remember to remain cautious and keep your boundaries up and make sure you stay true to yourself. Yeah. The Eight of Swords shows me that whatever it was was not technically over yet. So I don't know if no, you want to add to that. The Eight of Cups has come out as a still willing to walk away. Literally got the eight of mm. cups walking away from something that doesn't serve you anymore because you are looking for that mutual energy exchange. Oh, I'm so glad that we're correct. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, with that, we're going to now move on to Louise Hooper. I'm going to tag you now. Do you think when it let, – let's answer this first. Is it going to be positive? Let's answer this before we move on to Louise. Louise, if you're there, let us uh, know. The card that was under the eight of pentacles. 
right, the Page of Pentacles. It's not going to go exactly the way you want it, and there's there's going to be things that you that are coming in. There's going to be fresh messages. The Page of Pentacles shows a great grounding and a great new start. However, it's not going to go the way you want, and I want you to be very aware of that. And I feel like you've drawn the same reason, the same sort of card, same sort of energy. I can see it on your face. I've got the yeah, yeah. I've got the knight instead of the page. So yeah, hard work, Graph. Hard work, lots of hard work. Anything worth having? Is All right, Louise. I'm just going to timestamp you now. Hi, Jin City. And then Hi, we're going to get on to you. I'll, I'll let you start while I timestamp. Okay, so Louise. Okay. Oh, that one flew. Okay. Oh, wow. Okay. Okay, so I've got the Five of Pentacles, and it's kind of that feeling alone, feeling isolated energy. Hmm. Oh, I can't seem to tag you. Sorry, Louise. Oh, and a decision. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Right, okay. So we've got the uh, Five of Pentacles with the Seven of Wands with the Lovers. Um, and the Lovers so for me I just is got a got the page of They wands. are hugging on me. So I just got the page of wands and the nine of pentacles reversed. So with the lovers, I'm sensing there's a blockage because you're wanting something from somebody and I don't think they're ready to reciprocate because I've also drawn the ace of swords reversed as well. I really am getting a lot of reversals today. Um, so the ace of swords when it's... <laughs> um, the Ace of Swords when it's in reverse is it's showing me that there's this clarity that you've got this vision that you want but this vision is not reciprocated so please correct me if I'm wrong but it feels like somebody is not reciprocating what you want that's just what I'm getting because the Nine of Pentacles and the Page of Wands is showing me that there's a lot of wishful thinking going on and I'm just I'm not sure why I'm getting this energy and this message but please feel free to correct me I'm getting it's more what they want than what you want. Somebody around you is seeing this happening, though. Mm, somebody is definitely seeing somebody. it happen. And it's uh, so I've just drawn the high priest or the hierophant, and it, it's showing me that this person that is seeing all of this unfold is letting it unfold. I feel like this might actually be a lesson that you, you kind of also need to learn because it's something that is. Correct me if I'm wrong. This is something that is repeated a lot in your life. This is something that constantly keeps happening to you. You keep getting put into this situation, into this circumstance, and you keep asking yourself, why? Why do I keep allowing myself? Yeah, especially with that seven of wands. They're trying to get – I've only just noticed there's somebody in that – oh, I don't know if you can see. There's somebody in there being held hostage. Like, that's what you want, and you can't quite get it. There's all these blockages in the way for what you want. Mm. It's just really I, – I, I, I think you need to stand back a little. Just, just stand – as hard as it is, stand back and – let it unfold. Don't make it happen. Just let it happen because there is a lesson in letting it happen instead of trying to make it happen. Yeah. If we force something, it never works out the way we intend it to. No. Oh, you can't just blow out. The night of the night of pentacles. Literally, just as you said before, if it's hard work, and again, he's reversed. Why are all my cards reversed today? This is so unusual. It's but it's, it's, it's the universe's way. But the night of pentacles the shows well. that. Oh my god! Yeah, there is definitely somebody watching, and there is a lesson that you need to learn. And stop trying to make it harder than it is. Just let it happen. It's going to happen the way that you've seen it already. you just got to give it the time to get there. I kind of feel like you're comparing your journey to someone else's. Like you, mm. want it, like you think everything's a race. Like somebody has to get to the milestone first. But it's not about that. It's about doing it slowly and getting there authentically and 
It's, it's about taking the Your time and looking at the doors. Yeah. Doors close and doors open, like just like opportunities walk in and out of your life. Absolutely will put you on the list, but allowing the right doors to close and the right doors to open and sitting in front of them being marked by the five of pentacles isn't always a bad thing too, because you don't have to walk through a door, even if it's open. You do not have to. If there's something I learned growing up from my grandmother, very wise woman, you were born here to live your life. Do not go down a clone. Don't be somebody else. Do your own thing. And don't force it. Something's feeling like you want something to move at 100 mile an hour. Or well, not that you want it to move at 100, but you want it to be moving quicker than it is for some reason. Jin City, you're on the list as well. Hi, Anne. But yes, that's definitely what I'm getting. All right. So now we're going to move on to Lauren. Lauren Jackson, are you there? And I can't Hello, seem to tag Lauren Jackson either. And I, I'm starting to figure out why I'm unable to tag a lot of people. It's because I can only tag them if they're actually in my friends list. Yeah, I've just realized that too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I can't do that. Okay. So we will come back through and we will tag you at the end. So the timestamp is 26. Hi, Anne-Marie. All right. So, Lauren, I'm going to draw some cards for you now. All right. So the energies that I'm getting right now, oh, my God, they're all reversed again. I'm not liking this. This never happens to me. All right, so the Five of Swords, the King of Wands. <laughs> I've done that. I'm constantly, if you're watching me, shuffling the deck in my hand. <laughs> Um, but, so as I was saying, the Five of Swords, the King of Wands, and the Knight of Wands reversed is showing me that there are a lot of troubles in your life surrounding your friends at the moment. You've been lied to at the moment. What you wanted to happen did not happen. It kind of exploded in your face. You were told that things were going to happen. Please correct me if I'm wrong, but everything that you were told that was going to meant to happen in the last couple of weeks did not happen. Nothing has gone the way it's meant to. It must definitely be the energy of the moment. And I'm definitely getting a very strong energy of nothing is going the way any of us want to this week. Or in the, definitely in the last couple of yeah. weeks. Like take my, my life, for example. I lost my roof. The weather's been absolutely horrendous. I had to cancel my live reading and healing on, on Sunday just because I wasn't able to do it. Nothing has absolutely gone my way at all. And I'm it's definitely the getting that that is the in mm -hmm. But Lauren, I'm definitely, please correct me if I'm wrong, but that is definitely the energy that I'm getting from you. And a lot of the hindrance comes from the people that are meant to be helping you. They're just not. So feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. Draw your cards, but that is the very strong message that I'm getting. I it's just, it is me. not it's going the way you want. It's manipulation and an imbalance. There's a power imbalance. There's a codependency rather than an interdependency. Somebody's balanced, but there's shadow work. It's the shadow work that's needing doing in order to rebalance and clear that, to clear that out. And it's major mm. arcana, so it's big shadow work. Mm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And I've just gotten the I don't king know if of again, pentacles this is as well. Cycles that keep happening. Yeah, it's, it must be like, oh, I'm getting the goosebumps now. It's literally, I think the reason why all of this is happening is you're having a major spiritual and emotional shift in your life and you're really just starting to awaken and learn how everything really needs to start working for you and how everything needs to start working around you. And if that means cutting people out, then you do need to do that because you cannot work with people that are literally working against you no. and you, you, and you have to cups. work on yourself as well the seven of cups Absolutely. yeah the seven of cups but for me in this deck it's more about that wisdom leveling up with each emotional mm. choice 
emotionally awakening and the kundalini rising as well through the seven chakras with this card it always reminds me of that um i'm remembering that yeah. i don't know if somebody's like with the moon and the seven of cups there's illusions going on somebody's deluding you for some reason yeah and the three of wands is this is something that you've noticed for a while this is this is you you've been watching this ship you've been you've you've just watched it dock and you've just let it dock you you're just letting it happen but there are lots of lessons from this and this isn't all a bad thing this is just showing us that you are at a precipice in your life and it's a beautiful thing because yes the knight of Cups and the Three of Swords, it represents, and the Eight of Wands, there is great significant strength coming for you in the future if you are willing to, as the Three of Swords say, put it where it hurts a little sometimes because you know what? You have to be cruel to be kind. Okay. The Three of Swords shows cutting people off. The Eight of Wands is a card of great strength. And the Knight of Cups shows if you have the emotional strength and integrity to get through this, you are going to come out so strong all right so now we're going to move on to layla i'm going to stay with that guy right. layla see what we get from layla wow Going within, assessing what works for you and what doesn't, what needs to be removed from your life so that you can, you've got the hermit with the eight of cups, which is again, this broken bridge. If it's broken, is it broken for a reason? It's not been maintained from either side. Mm. Um, so it's about going within and recognizing what connections, whether what brings you emotional fulfillment, mutual emotional fulfillment. Um, and, and you've also I've got the queen of wands, which is to that. I love that. Add to that, I just drew the king of wands. With the queen. <laughs> You've literally got the king with the queen. Your <laughs> intuition is on point. Your intuition is on point. You know what you need to do. I also drew the eight of wands and the three of wands. So we've got very, very strong fire energy here. Very mm -hmm. strong fire energy. Great strength. Mm -hmm. So trust your intuition. Trust your creativity. Trust that man that is helping you. Trust your friends who are helping you. But the only thing that I want to say is when you see those ships come in, the three of wands is reversed. Trust your intuition. Don't just pick the ships because they've come in and they seem like they're going to be handy. Trust your gut. Yes. And with the three, that's just the beginning of things coming into you. That's just the very beginning of seeing that. Your growth is bringing that in. It's starting to see progress, but not necessarily the full picture. So, yeah, intuition, definitely. And, again, with the hermit, that's about going in and trusting yourself, knowing what's right for you, knowing where you want to go, finding that light. Mm. I like that. And with the Virgo nine of pentacles as well. Make all those wishes because if you don't start planning things now, well, what happens when you've got no plans? Nothing happens. No, no, no. That's it's literally kind of the, the difference between getting. wishing and manifesting, start, start. right? Mm -hmm. Wishing and manifesting. So start making it happen. And I agree with you. Virgo season is going to be very strong, very balanced, and very grounded for you. Wave of confidence coming through. I like that. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm plant all those seeds oh and the four of swords indicates the card of truth because you've started planting those seeds everything's going to start working new businesses are coming up that literally just as you said new business is literally going to be your fruition this is where everything starts for you absolutely christy we can add you to the list which leaves us with one position left for this live <laughs> So if anybody wants a reading, comment now. Comment now or forever hold your peace. May the odds be forever in your favor. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Hunger Games. Love it. <laughs> love, love, love the Hunger Games. Mm. 
Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. So now, oh my God, what did I just do? We are going to move on to Gin Study. And I will put Gin Study in and timestamp at 34. 34. Okay. All right, Gin Study, time to start for you. And so the cards that I've drawn for you are the Fool and the Card of Justice. You've you've made a choice recently. You've started to take a step out of your comfort zone, and you're starting to take the, the energy that I'm getting is you're really starting to take that leap of faith. That leap of faith is showing you that you are finally on the right path. You've, I get this message, like this energy, this feeling coming through that you've constantly, constantly questioned yourself in the last couple of months. And you haven't been able to take that leap of faith. But now that you have taken that leap of faith, justice is your friend. Everything is going to work out for you. Like literally, oh, the chariot and the seven of wands. You are a very strong. You are going to learn so much in the next coming weeks that it's just going to be substantial and beautiful for you. You're, you've also got the Ten of Swords, though. The, uh, this is the last thing that I want to add before I go through to you as well, is because the Ten of Swords is noting me here, is your very concept of reality is because you've now started taking this step and stopped questioning yourself is going to change, but I get this very strong impression. It is changing for the better. You are learning so much about yourself. You are finally standing strong on your own, and you are at the start of this big journey. Chariot, the Fool, the Card of Justice... Oh, very, very big changes coming. Definitely big changes. I like that. I've got the Emperor with the Queen of Pentacles. So if you needed to oh. know that what you're, you're stretching out and building your horizons, oh, my God, pay off, pay off, big stuff. Um, you should start to see progress on that soon because you've got the three of wands, mm -hmm. which is your ships coming in. Maintain that oh. focus, maintain that vision though. Um, yeah. Maintain it. And if you need to rely on your friends, it's okay. The five of swords is showing me that you do not have to do this journey alone. Your friends are the bearers of many wisdom as well. And I have this energy, like this feeling like them just being told that they're a lot of the reason why you are now walking this new path is you're starting to grow with them and as they grow you grow definitely especially with the emperor i mean the emperor uses connections in order to expand his his empire so to speak but he does he doesn't just go in and do everything himself he also uses his connections and who he has in what area to help him grow and expand and having his, his having the queen of pentacles as well that's all about fertility that's all about pregnancy that's all about great strength within your own core beliefs there's a lot of laurel leaves mm. And the Two of Cups as well. So having the Two of Cups shows me that you are definitely engaging the right path. So this card here is the card of commitments, the card of ceremonies, it's the card of literally getting engaged. It's literally just a union or a unity. You are so welcome. Everything is going to continue going well for you. Just Lean on your friends. Ask the big questions. Ask the hard questions. Ask the simple questions. And if you don't want to have coffee tomorrow, don't have coffee tomorrow. It's up to you what you want to do. It's literally all up to you. You've taken that leap of faith. Now jump and ride on through it all. All right, so on that now, we'll move on to Christy Evanku. Christy. Oh, okay. Right. Christy. Oh, okay, that's... 
Oh, okay, so I've got the Seven of Swords with the Page of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. And this is really feeling like somebody is doing what they want with regards to you rather than allowing you to grow and you to do, do what it is you mm. require to feel fulfilled. It's some giving up everything you want, giving up your time, your plan, your progress so that somebody else can thrive. But it's really, that's admirable and all, but it's you putting yourself on hold right now. It's you Literally, not allowing yourself to grow. Drawn. It's not giving yourself Before any light, that. any oxygen. You're not as, as you would, I, I, I want I, I want your that, opinion man. on this, but I've just drawn that. the Four of Cups reversed, the Seven of Swords. So continue with what you're saying. This all literally resonates with what you're saying, but I feel like you need to say this. I've been very much yeah. getting told. Yeah, the Seven of Swords, the Four it's... of Cups. Like I'm very much getting told that you need to say this message, not me. It's, it's you. <laughs> it is very much a case of you are putting yourself on the back burner to make somebody else happy, but that isn't making you happy, and I'm not sure they're even recognizing the damage that is being done no, by you I've being left behind. The they are page of cups dragging you along as well. It's not making you happy. Like You're not making any progress. It's stifled energy, completely trapped, stifled energy. Um, you, let you me just, know if you're right. Although all the cards match it. Yeah. Oh, oh, I've just drawn the nine of swords reversed <laughs> as well. I'm getting so many reversed. Honey, just you need to walk away from whatever this is. You Guys. need to leave. Yeah. It's almost right. like gaslighting, like, come on, don't be silly, we can do whatever, no, no, don't be Very, silly. very, it's very like, much getting gaslighting. Like, gaslighting, I just, Ugh. oh, I've got the Hierophant and that, it, normally, that I sometimes just, that's I just rolling. drew the High Priestess reverse, and as you drew here. Rolling. Yeah, yeah, and the high priestess reversed. Like, honey, you the energy I am covered in goosebumps right now. You need to leave whatever it is that is happening right now. Just it it, it is not benefiting you. It is not doing you any good at all. Oh, like this so this this leaves me this this energy leaves me very worried for you. I would really like if you could message yeah. us and just reach out. Because I, I just I am not comfortable with these messages and this energy that I'm getting. It really feels very controlling, very oh, like they dangle a carrot, and you, it's like a donkey with a carrot on a stick, right? You never quite ever reach the carrot, just to keep you going a little bit longer, just to keep you tagging along a little bit longer, just to keep you in it. Just, just that forbidden you, fruit, just that constant, that little bit of sugar. The little bit of sugar keep you keep you wanting more. That little bit of crack is very much the energy. Oh, it feels like it. I just got the lovers, and that's a reminder that the lovers is a choice. And yes, this is to do with love. You have a choice to stay. You have a choice to leave. You are choosing. You should be Especially choosing to be with them, not have to be with them. And the three yeah. of wands is reversed. You're not seeing progress. You're not seeing anything coming back in you're not seeing any reciprocity mm. Even so though you're we being have told room for one it, more not. reading so we have room for one more person so if anyone wants to jump in please please let us know now i'm gonna throw another card for you but oh the ten of pentacles reversed hun oh there is God. literally nothing going to come from this if you try to put more in, you're just going to... This is showing me that you've already lost a lot of money because of this. Please feel free to correct us if we're wrong, but I really, really would advise you to please just walk away. That bull is angry. All right, Trudy, like if you question you anything... are our last one. Oh. Oh, that's just yeah, hun. Please, wow. please, please message us. I would, I would, I would love to talk to you, and I'd love to help you out where I can. I'd, I'd feel that this is, this is not over. This is not over. I, I want to help you. I want you to message me. Yeah, absolutely. Reach out. 
All right. With that now, we're going to move on to our last reading, which is Trudy. I'll let you go first. I'm getting a very strong message that you you need to go first for this one. Okay. Oh, okay. Well, the first one to jump out is the Three of Swords. So grief, heartbreak, pain. Mm. Um, and it's necessary to process that. That's one of the reasons why, ironically, it's one of my favorite cards because you have to acknowledge mm. what's been done. I also, love that you just got your favorite card because I, because I got mine. I got the devil. <laughs> I love, oh, love, love done, the done. devil. Something... Oh. I love yeah, the devil. Yeah, something is. Oh I'm, my God. Got... Like, I'm sorry, but there is just, yeah, as, as you're saying, the grief okay. and then being marked by the devil is, it's gone. It was absolutely necessary. It was 100% necessary. That cathartic discussion that you needed to have, oh, necessary. Ace of Swords, it was a discussion that had to be had. It had to be cut. It had to be ended. Mm -hmm. And you know what? It's marked by the Queen of Pentacles now. Now that it's at, was that the Ace of Swords? But yes, yeah, so the Queen of Pentacles, literally great growth is now coming yeah. because of this. Yeah, because of all of the clarity and everything that's coming from what has happened, the discussion, what needed to happen, the fact that it was marked by the devil as well, shows that it, it, it's over. It's over. You, you you know what you need to do. You were not going to let it happen again. You're an incredibly strong person. You have an incredibly strong foundation within yourself, a strong core. Mm -hmm. The ability to grow and so expand. And you, do you have the right connections? Yeah, three of cups, the right connections, as you were saying, literally, as you were just saying, you have all of the connections around you to help you grow. You will never let what has just happened ever happen to you again. No. Time to be choosy. Oh, singledon, you are, yeah, incredibly strong. You have everything you need within yourself to weather anything. You are an incredibly resourceful, independent person. Yeah, you can provide for the page yourself. of swords. You, don't you can literally person. provide for yourself. You, you know your truth. You know everybody's truth. Everything is coming up daisies. Absolute. Yeah. Four of swords. Let, let's just keep going with this. The ten of cups. The four the of magician. pentacles. You can do anything you want now. And Name the King the of Pentacles. Love it. Queen of Everything Wands. is coming up strong. <laughs> Everything. <laughs> yeah. You know your truth. There is great prosperity coming for you. You've found your truth. You've found your grounding. And you know your way forward. So stop questioning yourself and just do what you know you need to do because you already know what you need to do. Your, your answers are there for you. You are so welcome. You will gain confidence in confidence. I don't know if some they took you away your belief in your own instincts, but you will recover them. You just have to trust yourself. You have everything. You have mm -hmm. a magician for crying out loud. You can create any future you want now. Also, if you are newly single, the... you don't have to answer to anybody else. You could do anything you want right now. Yeah, and you know what? Embrace the power of the Queen of Swords. You are allowed to be cold. Men do not deserve to touch what they don't warrant. <laughs> exactly. So be cold and be that. heartless and be ruthless because you know what? Men are not the way they used to be. Chivalry is dead. Yeah. And now they have to earn it. They don't want it. So. Yeah. So the one who works is the one that you want. We'll leave it at that. And with that, we've now gone through our 10 reads for tonight. Thank you all for being yes. with us. Thank you that so much, guys, for allowing us to get in again. It did. It did. Oh, my God. <laughs> we've, we've actually been going for 50 minutes. 50 minutes. I love it. <laughs> it doesn't feel but that long. Thank it feels you like all. about 10. No, it doesn't. 
<laughs> it really does. <laughs> Thank you all for letting us in your space. And I'm going to draw, I, I just love these cards, but I'm going to give you all who is online with us right now, a motivational manifesto. So I'm going to draw two cards and I'm going to leave these messages with you all for the night or the day or evening, wherever it is, wherever you are. So life can lose its vibrant aura and its charm if, if we do not blend the energy of our minds towards the positive engagements of our appreciation. And the other card is the great joys in life come when we are spontaneous and authentic while engaging in the activities that we care about. And the great miseries that come when too many days stack up we are confronting and posing the things that we do while we do what we have passion for and having passion for those things. So what I, what I get from this is allowing yourself to have a passion for the things that you love to do. Even if it's just one day a week allows you to get through the rest of the week with ease because you know, you have something to always look forward to the great joy in life comes when you are spontaneous and authentic to yourself. I love that. I love that so much really love these cards i think i think you should i think you really should get this deck the motivation manifesto it's just what is oh, it? it's incredible the motivation so it's so yeah the motivation manifesto that, that's what they look like they're just very very basic very plain card but just such beautiful messages mm -hmm. um and the person who so the tarot like the person who built this deck his name is brendan burkard for everybody who's online so if you want to get this deck, that is tech, and that's his name. I love it. Hi, Zoe. <laughs> Hi, Zoe. Okay. Did you want to hold your space? Did you want to hold your space for Greece? Absolutely. So um, for everybody that is online right now, I just want you all to be aware, if you're not aware at the moment, that thousands and thousands of hectares and acres in Greece Italy and a lot of Europe are currently burning right now. And I just want us all to hold a little space for Greece and just pray for the rain, if that's okay. So with that, we're going to hold space for a minute or two. And with that, thank you all so much for holding space with us and sending prayers and energy to Greece. Just any anything help, any little thing help. And I just really hope that all the animals and the people who are displaced find the support that they need in order just to carry on with their lives. And if you have any friends and family that are over there at the moment, please, please reach out and just make sure that they're okay. It's a time of need for everybody. This this is a very hard time that we're in at the moment. It's probably the hardest time in our history that we've ever experienced with COVID and everything that's going on. And so many wildfires everywhere. And heat waves. Mm, and and it's crazy. It's it's horrible and I'm I'm terrified for this year, to be completely honest, living in the woods. And I live in Australia. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah, that must be. 
Well, it started raining here, uh, so I don't know if it's going to Greece too. I'll blow it over. Well, fingers crossed, fingers Go crossed. Let's Greece. send the rain that's at yours and send it send straight to Greece. It's just across the channel. It is. It is. All right. With that, everybody, we're to. gonna let you go, and I'll let you count for the end of the stream because you're the one that's in control yes, of that. You so but you all have yourself a lovely day, a lovely evening, okay. and a lovely night, and many blessings to all of you. Thank you for allowing us to share space with you. Yes. Thank you so much, guys. See you soon. Bye, everyone. go <laughs> there we go right. We're doing this. okay oh he's gone oh it's not it won't end sorry okay